Hi, this is Chris. Today I'm going to tell you about creating an omni-channel service that supports a really cool feature on the, in the HTTP protocol called conditional GET. And this is really useful in mobile solutions because it saves bandwidth and also increases performance on both the client and the server. In this example I will use PHP and build on uh, the service I created in a previous video and you got the link there down in the description. Um, but the same functionality can be achieved on any major platform like any Java variation or .NET. So let's start with some theory. The basic idea is that the first call to the server is made as usual and the response from the service include the requested data and the normal OK or 200 uh, HTTP response code. It also includes two specific headers, one with the date indicating when the resource was last changed and the other is a unique identifier for the current version of the resource called an e-tag. In the next request, the client will supply these two values and this time the response depends on whether the resource has changed or not. If the resource was changed, the response format will be the same as in the first response, but this time with new data. But if the resource was not changed, only the not modified or 304 HTTP response is returned without any data in the body. This very quick response, uh, it's, it's just the headers that are transferred back and forth, tells the client that the previous retrieved data is still valid and can be shown to the user. Okay, so uh, it's time to create a service that implement this. And as you can see here, uh, it's the original code that has been modified from the previous video. And we start by getting the XML on line two and three. Then we set the default time zone on line four and we get the date when the feed was last changed from the XML on line five. We create an e-tag by making an MD5 hash from that date on line 6 and set the two headers on line 7 and 8. Then we get the two headers if they are present, like in the second request, uh, from the request on line 9 and 10. And we check whether the version that the client has is old or still valid on line 11. If it's still valid, we simply return the 304 status code on line 13. And if not, we parse the XML just as we did in the original code, so I won't go through it here. To put this code on a server, I'm using Coda here. I just create a new file named getconditional.php. I paste the code we just walked through. I save it. And then we can open this in a browser. So on the first request, we get the normal 200 response. And as you can see the headers, uh, if you open the developer tools, I'm using Chrome here, but this is possible in most browsers. And when I make another request, you can see that I get the 304 response and can inspect those headers. No matter how many times I make the request now, it will continue to return 304 until the date in the backend XML is changed. The nice thing when, build, when building apps to access these kinds of services is that most reusable libraries like AF Networking has built-in support for conditional gets. So there is actually a minimal amount of coding required to make use of this in an app. And there you have it, an omni-channel service that supports conditional gets and that can be consumed by any app or web. Thank you.